It's time for the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not for August 27th, 2024. Welcome back to the Daily Dose of Adrenaline, Fun, and All Things Sports. This is the Daily Sports Rush from Sports Not. I am your host, Scott Branson. Strap in, because we've got a lineup hotter than the Vegas Strip in July. Let's dive right in. First up, Caitlin Clark is on fire. Last night, she tied the all-time rookie three-point record with her 85th bomb from downtown as the Indiana Fever held off the Atlanta Dream 84 to 79. I mean, this girl's out here hitting triples like they're going out of style. And let me tell you, she's making it look like a layup drill in practice. And let's not forget her all-around performance, 19 points, seven boards, and seven dimes. The Fever haven't been this hot since, well, ever. They're now sitting pretty in the playoff picture, and it's about time. They haven't seen the postseason since Caitlin was just a teenager. Can you imagine ending the longest active playout drought in the league? They're basically the Indiana Phoenixes rising from the ashes. As for the Dream, well, they're going to need more than a Dream to make it to the playoffs after this one. The Fever, they're hot, and the playoffs are just around the corner. Next up, a reminder, today is cut down day in the NFL, and we'll have the latest on that tomorrow. But today, wow, CeeDee Lamb just made himself a whole lot richer, folks. The Dallas Cowboys wideout has signed a jaw-dropping four-year $136 million deal with a cool $100 million guaranteed. That's right, $100 million. Let that marinate. This deal makes Lamb the second highest paid non-QB in NFL history, just behind Justin Jefferson. It's like the Cowboys were playing Monopoly and just landed on free parking with all that cash piled up. And don't think he's just cashing in on potential. Lamb had 1,749 yards and an NFL best 135 catches last season. You know what that means. Dak Prescott is going to be slinging that rock to him all season long. Now let's see if all that cash translates into postseason wins. Because let's face it, Cowboys fans, one and three in the playoffs over the last three years, that's not exactly America's team material. But hey, as long as Lamb keeps hauling in those bombs, they might just turn things around. Maybe. And now, folks, for a story so strange you'd think it was cooked up in a Hollywood writer's room. Danny Jansen became the first player in MLB history to play for two teams in the same game, in the same inning. Yes, you heard that right. Picture this. The game was rained out back in June when Jansen was still on the Blue Jays. Fast forward two months and a trade later, and he's catching for the Red Sox in the very same game he started for Toronto. It's like MLB meets Back to the Future, but unlike Marty McFly, Jansen didn't need a DeLorean, just a really weird set of circumstances. I mean, only baseball could give us something this bizarre. A rain delay, a midseason trade, and 65 days later, boom, he's on both sides of the box score. And not to mention, he gets a hit for Boston. Red Sox fans, you got to love that hustle. Who knows what's next in this wacky baseball season? We might just see a pitcher strike out his own teammate next. But hey, for Danny Jansen, it's all in a day's work. Hats off, my guy. Enjoy your place in the weirdest corner of baseball history. All right, that's all the time we have for today's Sports Rush. Remember, sports fans, always keep it locked here on Sports Knot for your daily dose of sports insanity. Until next time, keep it fun, keep it fast, and keep it sporty.